I'm gonna be reviewing the loadout farm mortar DJ golden commando. Uh, the basic idea behind this is I don't send and play extremely passive and I somehow do okay. And then I just come up top late game. Now there are some faults as this really can't handle a huge mid game rush if sent properly. And on top of that, it might not even be able to handle wave 31 at all. However, if you could get past these, you can make it to wave 38 or even 40 with this loadout, and you'll be just simply superior on Necromancer boss rushing. I'll give it a solid 6 out of 10. I'm gonna send one because it's most effective, and when he doesn't see it because it's delayed, he might farm. I don't think he will though. Yeah, he won't. Doesn't matter though. As long as I send one, this should usually force him to defend something. He only sent one on me, which is okay for me, I guess. I'm forced to do this actually. No, I am. All right, yeah. Oh no, the strategy just doesn't work well like this. It's whatever, nothing I can do about it. I'm still new to it. I'm thinking if I send one, I guess. Yeah, I guess you can't send one on city. It's probably map RNG when you can send one when you can't. If I had to take a guess anyways. My eco usually does all right here though, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, we're, I think he's, see, I think we're actually have similar eco. I probably just shouldn't have sent one at all, even though it probably hurt his eco because it might have hurt my eco more. I'm not quite sure though. All right, now this is gonna get a little bit scary. I don't know how well this does. All right. And he doesn't send it completely passively, which I'm fine with. This strategy is really well at anti-sending. And I would say it's also pretty versatile, considering how cheap everything is. I'm actually out ecoing him, so that's that. I'll see how my eco is, but I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. There are two bosses. I don't think that's going to matter too, too much. I have 5 HP, so I can leak this. I don't think that's gonna go well, though. And I could probably sell this. Actually, I might. Nah. Alright, everything looks alright. I'm at 13 farms. He's at... 12. I'm actually out farming. That's weird. And I don't think he knows how to play it quite aggressively. I probably would have sent wave 11 or something. This loadout's actually pretty solid. I mean, for not sending, it does provide really good eco. He also has 13 farms by now. Um, He has level 3 plus. No, he does not have level 3 plus. I could actually say our ecos are quite similar. I, mean, I don't think he'll play it too aggressively mid game. I'm probably not going to send much towards him. Actually, I could send one. This is going to force something. I know that. I'll probably get this level four. Yeah, that level four stuns and does some work. He sent four, so I'm going to go for max mortar at this time. Oh, I got level 4. Alright, um, I misclicked and got level 4 DJ. But, like, who cares? I don't think this guy's gonna play it that aggressively anyway, so I'll be fine. I look relatively fine, though. Unless he's not doing any sort of stacking. That's one plasma. 
He might need to fend a bit more on the hidden bosses, if I'm gonna be honest. I need the wave to end so I can actually get Enforcer upgraded. Yeah, uh, this is extremely suspicious. I look on the fine side, though. Yeah, he didn't play too aggressively. I'm gonna do a, a hidden boss rush. Alright, he got max plasma, so I'm gonna stop hidden boss rushing. I feel like I should be fine. It might get close, though. Depending if he continues, I'll probably get another mortar. Yeah, it looks fine. I think he's oversending. I would stop around now. Yeah, he's continuing. I might as well get another enforcer. Is he gonna stop? No, he's not. Alright, there he is. He has a better E cause. Not much I can do about it. I'm not sending. In theory, this should all work out. Should max towers right now. He has 12, 13, he has 14 farms. I have 15, 16, 17, I have 17. I'm actually, my, I'm gonna go for 18 actually. I doubt he's gonna send and he has plasmas. I'd rather not risk it while boss three rush could actually be very deadly here. Our eco is relatively similar. I mean, mathematically, a boss three rush could wipe everything out. I mean, he's got, He's got two plasmas though, so I'd rather not. If he has half a brain cell, he'll boss three rush for me and I'll die. Yeah, I don't think I can defend it. I mean, actually, I probably could with 31. Maybe at the cost of farms. I need what? Two max GCs? Yeah, if he boss three rushes me, I'm dead. He has plasma, so yeah, he knows. I don't know, does he know? He's actually not boss 3 rushing, which I'm surprised. I can't really boss 3 rush him because of how well Plasma does. But he could boss 3 rush me. I'm kind of vulnerable to that. That's a weakness of this loadout. Because you don't have Plasma, you actually are really vulnerable to boss 3 rushes. Oh, he's farming. It's really tempting to boss 3 rush him right now. But he'll probably counter considering how he has Plasmas. Whereas on the other hand, for me... I honestly would say... Honestly, I'd rather just not boss 3 rush because it's just... If he boss rushes me, he actually might kill me. I mean, yeah, if he boss three rush me wave 31, that would have been deadly. I'm not so worried as of right now because I can get a second max GC, which would usually counter. Especially if you combine with DJ. But he has the plasma, so he can probably get the second max GC, so he'll be 100% fine. But you gotta keep in mind, wave 31 boss three rush actually would be a major flaw in the slowdown. Now, I don't know how much money he has. I'm assuming I have a little bit more because he spent more money on plasmas. If he can't get that one max, that means I have a lot more than him. Unless he's trying to bait me and he actually can get that max. I might try the Necromancer boss rush. If he doesn't get the proper plasmas, I could do a wave 38 bug Necromancer boss rush and it could be absolutely devastating on his economy. Alright, it's wave 36. If he sends, I can easily defend it. Um, wave 37 is probably when I'm gonna sell farms to place down everything. He wants me to place my GCs.
feel like a Necromancer boss would actually crush his economy. I don't know how I feel about Necromancer boss rush. It's really eco-crippling though. That's the main problem with it. We'll see how much money I have. I might just do it. Honestly, he he probably can't even counter. I'm going to be 100% real. I may attempt this. It doesn't look like he could actually counter. I mean, if he doesn't have the plasmas necessary to spawn kill it. Is he going to do it on me? He's doing it on me. Oh, he sold all his farms. That's huge. That's huge. Might as well do the same. I think he's too broke to send more. This is huge. Yeah, he sold all his farms to spawn kill him, but he's too broke. And they're starting to pour in. Yeah, they're just starting to pour in. How many plasmas? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is nowhere near enough and it needs to be. He is broke and he doesn't have the plasmas he needs to have. I don't think he's countering this. He just seems too broke. Once they break free from this plasma death trap region, I think I'll just win. I mean, because my mortars go map scale. Yeah, I mean, I just don't see a plausible way of him countering this. I don't know why he sold. I mean, I wouldn't have sent personally. Like, he was just so low on eco. I don't know why he thought sending was a good idea. He probably could have spawn killed if he had better eco, though. I'm not going to lie. But he is so dead. I don't... Yeah, major mistake from him. I don't know why. He, like... But still. Am I crying this properly? I think I am, right? Yeah, everything's going all smoothly for me. Yeah, Mortar does lag some late game, but not as much as GC. Yeah, he probably could have countered. If he just kept him in the Plasma Death Trap reason and really focused on Micro and DJ, he could have won. Honestly, I'd give this loadout maybe a 7 out of 10 or 6.5 out of 10. It's pretty solid. It does a great job early game even though you don't send. It does have a major weakness mid game where it may be eco devastating if they were to do an extremely aggressive rush. However, most people wouldn't do that. I definitely recommend you give the loadout a try. I mean, late game is pretty much unstoppable with this loadout. Highly recommended. And overall, I think it's pretty solid.